supplied by the National Weather Association. Weather from where you live. Well, some new thunderstorms are forming to our west now, just ahead of the cold front, which is crossing I-55 here in east-central Illinois. So, again, we're not out of the woods with scattered storms this evening. Can't even rule out an isolated, severe storm with a strong wind gust. But you can see these storms pretty vigorous now to the northwest of Terre Haute. They're moving eastward, so these may affect parts of Montgomery County uh, here over about the next 45 minutes. Now, the storms that were approaching Attica have weakened a lot. They've kind of encountered this rain-cooled, more stabilized air mass from Attica to Lafayette and Otterburn. So these have fallen apart, but we're still getting rain in parts of northern Fountain County. And this is a pretty vigorous storm here west of Hoopston, but it's now moving it into an environment that's a little more stable from all the rain and storms we've had this afternoon. But nonetheless, still a line trying to form here to the west, and this will pass through during these evening hours. We've also had a lot of rainfall today. In fact, the real breadwinner has been parts of southwestern Benton and northwestern Warren counties. A good three, perhaps over three inches of rain has fallen here. And with some additional showers and storms of this evening, still some areas of flash flooding possible in these locations. Sporadic wind damage, kind of haphazard this afternoon. Some microburst type bursts of wind here. We had some large tree limbs blown down near Boswell at the fairgrounds. Also Rainsville here in Warren County. Some trees and power lines down are from uh, near the Waverly area to, to the uh, Logansport, city of Logansport, quite a few trees and power lines blown down and some trees down northeast of Akron. Also reports of some trees down here uh, just east of Boone County in Hamilton County here in Indiana. Now notice on future casts, the storms pull out of here by 8 or 9 o'clock tonight. We'll be in pretty good shape after that point. Then some areas of fog, and then even for tomorrow afternoon with the front very slowly sinking southeast of our viewing area. Still can't rule at least a few scattered storms around, as you can see here, with a lot of heat and humidity. But the main severe threat is setting, setting up off to our east, and we're fine tomorrow night. We're fine, but hot and humid Saturday before our severe weather threat starts to increase by Sunday. Highs tomorrow again right around 90 area wide. The heat index mid to upper 90s and hot on Saturday for dancing in the streets and the zoo run run. 90 Rochester, Lafayette area at 91 for the high and again the heat index mid to upper 90s. Thunderstorms tapering then areas of fog 70 tonight, 90 tomorrow. At least a few widely scattered thunderstorms in the afternoon and evening. We're fine on Saturday 91 but watch the severe weather threat Sunday perhaps even Monday damaging straight line winds would be the main threats there. Highs, though, running at or above 90. And then once we cap everything and turn the storms off, it gets incredibly hot by later on next week, 95 on Thursday. So we're talking about temperatures at or above 90 for a good week here. So uh, heat wave in place. Doesn't look like we'll see much relief either. No relief in the forecast. And again, Saturday.